Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. The Capitol Building's Statuary Hall features 100 statues depicting two notable people from each of the 50 states, chosen by the state itself. 11 of the 100 statues depict Confederate leaders representing Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and West Virginia. Now, one of South Carolina's current Congress members is proposing a bill that could make it harder to remove those statues. The National Statuary Hall Collection Policy Act would require a two-thirds vote of a state legislature in order to remove their statue from the Capitol building. Currently, the requirement is just a simple majority vote of the state legislature. It was introduced by South Carolina Republican Representative Ralph Norman, whose state has a Confederate statue in Statuary Hall of Confederate Lieutenant General Wade Hampton. Supporters argue that if the statues were decided by the states, then the decision on whether they should come down should also be up to the states, and it should be a decisive majority, more than just, you know, 51%. Opponents say that the decision on whether the statues should go should be Congress's, and specifically that the Confederate statues should go because they honor slaveholders who fought against the United States. In practice, even if the bill is enacted, most or all of the statues might still come down. That's the trend it looks like. In 2015, South Carolina's state legislature voted to remove the Confederate flag from the state house with margins far above two thirds, 94 to 20 in the state house and 36 to three in the state Senate. The vote to remove included Ralph Norman, who was then a South Carolina state legislator. Now, if only we could require a simple majority vote to remove those mimes in the park who pretend to be statues.